And I think people just come back and they want to see something real and they want to feel something. They've got so much to let out. I'm Amy and Georgia, are you feeling supernova? We are. That's a great way <laughs> yeah. to put it, actually. It, it, it's an explosion in our minds right now. It's crazy <laughs> that we're here. <laughs> Did you think that you might be on this on this list? I think it's always been like when we was in like secondary school, we'd always run and look at the list and be like, who's shortlisted? And it's always been like a dream of ours to even be considered to make it on there. But when it comes into reality and you and see, it happens. Is you're on the list, we were just like. Stunned, we're just a bit like, oh my god, like, yeah. where were you? What was the call? What happened? <laughs> were you together? We yeah, was, luckily, we were, we were together, yeah. We were in an antique store, as you do, mm -hmm. with George's mum, mm -hmm. and uh, six days ago, we got the phone call from our management being like, okay, we've got some big news. You've been shortlisted for the Mercury Prize, and we were literally like, "Don't tell anybody. You <laughs> cannot like, tell, tell anyone. anyone." And we was like, <gasps> we were like, "Okay." We were like okay. screaming in the shop, running out, running down the street, and, and everyone then, was like, "What's going on?" And then he's like, "Don't tell anyone." And so we hung up, and then uh, your mum was like, "What's happened? What's happened?" He's like, "Straight away. <laughs> Guess what?" <laughs> I feel like everything about you is kind of a statement, and you've been described as trailblazers, punk forward thinking, everything about it, and you are also standouts on this list in your own right in terms of rock music. How, how does that feel? I think like so many people before us like have been trying to push diversity in the scene, especially in the rock and alt scene. And for us now to be, and we, we were told we were like the, I think mm. the first like black women in yeah, rock music and be to be the heaviest apparently. Mm -hmm. And we're saying what so people we're like, were saying. Well. <laughs> we're like, and we were like, that's mad, you know? Mm. But also it's a sign of the times and that we are moving forward and we are progressing. It's not the same industry as when we first started. We've been a band for a little while. We used to be the only people, the color, all, all our color at these rock festivals. <laughs> Everyone's in black t-shirts. So we would turn up and be like, okay, we were the only women on the bill as well, all the time, the only black people there. And uh, we was like, wow, you know, it's just, just now to see so much diversity on the scene and live music thriving again, especially mm. after like, the, the lockdown where we couldn't go to gigs. And I think people just come back and they want to see something real and they want to feel something. They've got so much to let out. And it's just been amazing doing the festival circuit again. Because we thought it was never going to come back. We were yeah. always like, it's the end of the music industry <laughs> as we know it. But it's come back. And I think it's come back bigger. I think it's come back better. Mm -hmm. Since the, the debut, what's the growth been for you? I think the first album, we were just like playing live. And then we recorded what we did live, exactly. This album, we wrote it in our bedrooms between the two of us two of us and then went into the studio but I think we had a different approach I feel mm. like we came we were a bit more knowledgeable and we understood exactly what we wanted so a lot of the demos we kept it because it was a moment and before we can't recreate that so we'd build upon that and it was really really great because we experimented I remember like, I really loved the sleep paralysis when we got um, Jake was playing the fire extinguisher yeah. to create that sound <laughs> in the middle of late or just getting or leaves and like whacking hallway. some leaves yeah. so it sounds really reverbing yeah and just trying to feel like just being open to be creative and just to try different things things and just be raw with it and not feel that like we have to put in like a load of simps or whatever just use what we've got mm. use our tools that we've got and just do it live and do it there and it was great well i hope you ladies are feeling nova supernova all of the above <laughs> i mean this really is a moment thank you, thank you. Thank you so Georgia. much nova twins thank, thank you. you so much shortlisted for the mercury prize 2022 hey. Hey. Now. Hey. Hey. thank you <laughs>